Good morning, folks. The sun diving comet we showed yesterday indeed died on approach. You can see it here on Lasco C2 disappearing. But watch right after that comet comes in. A second, smaller sun diving comet slides in right afterwards. I'll replay and speed up the video so that you can see the bright one first, then the smaller one. Now, while these were on approach, the northwestern filament began departing. And although the plasma CME was moving slowly, hours later we can see that it was a significantly large eruption, not Earth-directed. Well, how about our big sunspots that have been coming in? They were slightly more active the last day than before, producing a number of large C-class flares and some very low-level and impulsive M flares. We'll call yesterday a draw with the Earth-facing solar quiet. Coming in behind the big sunspot group are some solar tornadoes feeding a plasma flow to the south. Remember from our previous examinations of filaments that this is just the foundation of a larger filament structure. In 304 angstroms, we can see that there are indeed incoming eruption threats spread over hundreds of thousands of miles. Despite a lot to look at, there were no Earth-directed CMEs the last 24 hours. Over at spaceweathernews.com, we can see the modest flaring uptick. But boy, you'd expect more from Delta-class sunspots. We actually have more than just the incoming group but some new ones departing. They have magnetic potential for flares to come, but it is already heading away. The incoming monster is becoming very long and does retain one area of mixing potential in the center where colors collide. Taking a look at the solar wind, slightly rising speed and density isn't much at this time, but the KP index is alert and up off the floor. Coronal magnetic fields were closed up most of the day and just started opening back up overnight. We remain at a high earthquake watch on this coronal hole, but luckily, it looks like we're seeing the unusual location type of uptick, which is always preferable to the larger magnitudes in usual locations. New Zealand, slightly above average here, but the rarest of quakes has hit Slovenia in an ultra-rare Eastern European uptick north of the Greco Faults. An earthquake of this size hasn't happened here in 18 months, and before that, you have to go back to 2004 to see one. Oh yes, we much prefer this type of uptick to a megaquake, especially because these are actually much more rare. Top news from space over the last day is peeling back the gaseous atmosphere of warm Neptunes. Using what we know about the icy cores and precipitation of these far-off worlds combined with a new observation of these gases being ripped from the planet by its parent star, it's a look inside these abundant planetary forms. The top Earth news comes to us from the Atacama Desert. The driest place on Earth is now teeming with life. When they get a big rain, this can happen a bit, but never twice in one year, like just happened, and never to this extent. And it came with a storm that got very little press in the rest of the world some weeks ago when years of rain fell in just 12 hours, which has now, weeks later, produced the first ever display of life such as this, of this magnitude, in recorded history. By the way, there's a much more imminent storm concern. Coastline here, we'll see an impact like they've never seen before either. Best of luck, everyone. Website members, yesterday's fly on the wall had new insights into the coming grand minimum of our star. The downward spiral of the climate has probably begun, plus a lengthy discussion on geoengineering. That's under premium, then under fly on the wall. Folks, membership is just 4 bucks a month or 30 for an entire year. It's hundreds of hours of material with more added every week. Well, how about the United States? Must almost be feeling left out. Can't forget the catastrophic flooding killing people in Texas and now ready to move east. Eyes open there. Pressure and radar in current conditions. Oh my. Then shots of our star to close. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.